On this week's edition of WTHS, we take a look at the new 2022 Homecoming Queen. With October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we recognize two breast cancer survivors. Welcome back to another episode of WTHS News. I'm Anna Grant Kalstorf. The homecoming maids were presented and the queen, dressed in pink, received her crown. Mariah has more on this special announcement. Two weeks ago during the Tupelo homecoming game versus Madison Central, THS crowned Paris Donegan as the 2022 homecoming queen. Tupelo High School homecoming queen is Paris Donegan. Paris said she was filled with excitement after hearing her name being called. I was honestly really shocked I was, but I was really excited as well. Not only did Paris mention her mom was her biggest supporter while preparing for homecoming, her mom was also homecoming queen her senior year. Friday honestly wasn't that bad. It was just the finding the dress that was kind of stressful, but Friday was pretty good. Paris's artwork has made a big impact here at THS. She has not only designed shoes for students, but also the principal here. Paris plans to attend Alabama A&M, majoring in entrepreneurship with a minor in studio art. I'm Mariah Cole from WTHS News. Thanks, Mariah. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but the campaign takes place all year in order to honor those fighting breast cancer. Last Tuesday, the Collision Repair class helped raise awareness by painting hubcaps pink. The pink hubcaps show support for those who defeated cancer and those who are now battling it. Years ago, she was, had survived cancer, but then it came back. And then what happened was she ended up dying from breast cancer. So what we're gonna do, like this hubcap here, we're going to just do in memory of her. So we're going to put her name on it, her picture on it, um, and some few details about her, uh, and some things that she might like, we'll add it to it, just to make it you know, something that's tasteful, that the family would like to have, and um, hopefully they appreciate it, you know, what we're trying to do for the awareness of breast cancer. Well, that the awareness be out there and everything, you know, um, that's a hard battle. Many people die from it. Many people survive, but you know, it's a difficult battle out there, you know, try to live and survive for it. Mr. Bradley's class is not the only class raising awareness for breast cancer. Digital media, health sciences, and early childhood education contributed this month by designing t-shirts to support the people fighting breast cancer. So the shirts represent Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, which rolls around every October. And a lot of the students have no idea what breast cancer is about or what it means. Um, so we thought this was a good opportunity to teach and inform some of the students about breast cancer, along with doing a hands-on activity while learning about it. I did a football, a pink football, because it's football season. And here we got a uh, pink out football games and for, do football because we fight and the women are fighting to live their life. It is great to see classes at THS show support for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In fact, two breast cancer survivors teach here at THS. Carolyn introduces us to Dr. Blanton and Ms. Hughes. In the United States, approximately 220,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer each year. Tupelo High School's very own Mrs. Hughes and Dr. Blanton both battled and won their fight with breast cancer in 2021. These two teachers share their story of their fight with breast cancer. Ms. Hughes went in for her routine exam in July of 2021 when she got a call back from the doctors that she needed to go back for more testing. Due to her family's history with breast cancer, coming back for testing wasn't unusual. However, on July 29th, her doctor gave her the call that she was diagnosed with cancer. Even though her diagnosis was a setback in her life, Mrs. Hughes knew that she had to fight for her family and other women who were suffering with breast cancer as well. I went to Vanderbilt in Nashville. Uh, that's a research facility. And so I thought if they could learn something about me that would help my daughters and other women, it was worth, it was worth the long trips. Miss Hughes, however, devotes her survival to the Lord. The most support she feels she received being from her church family through constant prayer. I belong to um, several uh, ladies groups. One in particular um, that I attend on Wednesday night, they just covered me in prayer. They um, bought my wig for me. And uh, on my first surgery, uh, they had came into my home before I had got home and they filled it with balloons and cards and just everything that you could imagine that I would need. 
Another teacher at Tupelo High School, Dr. Blanton, was diagnosed with breast cancer in March of 2021 after irregularities showed up in her exam. I felt like I was living a nightmare. Um, I didn't want to lose my hair, and they told me it's probably going to fall out after about a week. Uh, and I just kept thinking my life is going so well right now. Why, I don't need this. Even after her diagnosis, Dr. Blanton's students were a priority to her. She scheduled her That's chemo on Thursday so she could come to school on Fridays, then rest on Saturday, Sunday, and Mondays. Students such as Savannah Scruggs recognize Dr. Blanton's commitment so, to their that, learning. So, she still exactly. like makes such an effort to be in the class and be engaged and help us like do all our work and she never really let it like keep her down. Dr. Blanton's hard work and dedication to teaching greatly impacted the lives of her students. I just want to say thank you to Ms. Blanton because She's always there for us, and she always knows how to make you feel better. These days, Dr. Blanton and Mrs. Hughes are back to doing what they love, encouraging students. They even wanted to share a piece of advice to those who are or have a loved one suffering from breast cancer. When you focus on what's wrong with you, it can bring you down. But when you focus on the needs of others, you have something to live for. And that's what I try to do. Dr. Blanton and Mrs. Hughes are two courageous women who have great influence on our community in high school. We thank you for your sacrifices to help teach the students of Tupelo High School. Thanks, Caroline. Ms. Hughes will be recognized on the football field at tonight's Pink Out game. Aaliyah has more in this week's sports. Hi, I'm Aaliyah Cooper. Welcome back to this week's edition of Sports Media. The girls are in second place in the 400 freestyle relay at state finals. A big shout out to Brooks Johnson for being the state champion in the 100 meter butterfly. Congratulations on third place finish in the boys 200 medley relay. Let's hear for senior captain Mary Lawson for being the state champion in the 200 IM in the 100 meter breaststroke. Well, you know, we uh, overall combined uh, team score, we got second. Our girls got second and our boys got fourth. And, you know, of course we want to win and we strive to win. But, um, you know, we swam really hard and we um, competed really, really well Friday night. So I was pleased with that. Basketball hosted their Meet the Wave last Thursday. Now that it's officially basketball season, they will host the Old Tupelo Hound Dog Classic at 9.30 a.m. The Lady Wave plays at 6.30 and the boys will play at 8. Be sure to come out and support the Wave. Last Saturday, Andrew Brown had an amazing race running 60 minutes and 5 seconds. This race has put him second in the nation for class of 2027. We talked to several of our top runners about how they're preparing for state. Um, PR at MC Watson really made me like confident in this race that I can I can run fast in the 5K and I ended up running better than I thought I would today. It was just a 90% 5K, but it felt amazing. Congratulations to our THS cheer team for winning first place. They competed in large game day co-ed and earned a bid to travel to Orlando, Florida in February. It's another win for the Tupelo football team, leaving the score 42 to six. This win wasn't just any other win, it was a special one. Recently, we have lost one of our former players, Sam Westmoreland. The football team did a tribute to him with stickers on their helmets. Tupelo and Mississippi State weren't the only ones to honor his memory. This tribute reached out to other teams like Mizzou and Vanderbilt. They also carried his senior banner to honor his name. Let's make 9-0 for 78 and that's what they did. Friday, they'll play against Clinton on the Renaissance field at 7 o'clock. I think most importantly is the impact he had on those guys, but not only those guys, but the rest of the team. Sam had a smile that was contagious. He had a personality that was contagious. Um, he was always happy, always uh, somebody that, that you could look at and would instantly make you feel better about yourself. It's the last week of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so be sure to wear your pink. I'm Aaliyah Cooper, WTHS Sports Media. Thanks, Lilia. That's all we have for now. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.